Animal cafes are a popular place for youngsters in Japan to visit, particularly as many of them don't have pets themselves. CCTV's Terence Terashima visited one such cafe in Tokyo and met customers enjoying companionship with their part-time pets. Ladies cuddling a hedgehog and a couple on a date with a lizard and a hedgehog in their hands. This is one of a popular pastime for city residents, a cafe where you can enjoy a company of an animal you love. Animal cafes have boomed in major Japanese cities in recent years, inspired by success in cat cafes, which grew to a $20 billion market. Japan already has a large and growing market for pets, around $13.5 billion in pet-related business, from clothing, grooming, and food. But that is for those that can afford to have a pet. In metropolitan areas, many are not able to have pets or are too busy to take care of pets. I think people come to these cafes for therapeutic effects of the animals. In Tokyo and Osaka, around 47% of households are single household. People living alone in apartments which either are restricted to have pets or too busy to regularly take care of an animal. These cafes have hit the spot for animal lovers. Some cafes like this, Hedgehog Cafe, also have fans from overseas. Half of their customers are tourists. Cats, dogs, bunnies and hedgehogs are not the only popular companions. For those who love birds, there's a place where you can interact with birds while you enjoy your coffee. The attendants will teach you all about how to interact with these birds and requirements if you think of having a bird as a pet. You can buy these birds if you fall in love with them. The owner said it is a good thing to get to know the animal before you buy one. It reduces the risk of mistreatments. Some like cats, some like dogs or even birds. But what if you like creatures like this? Sometimes you may not get an understanding from your family. So this is where the reptile enthusiasts come and have a drink while you enjoy the view. Interestingly, majority of customers who come to these reptile bars are women. Some complain that their boyfriends refuse to come along. I used to have a pet frog when I was a child. I like lizards, so I want to have one as a pet if I could. Authorities are tightening the regulations and conditions of these shops to prevent cruelty to animals. Pet shop cafes are growing market and careful monitoring is required. But for those enthusiasts, these cafes are a retreat until they can afford a place to have a pet. Terence Terushima, CCTV, Tokyo.